Hello and welcome to this linked POS training video. In this video, we're going to be talking about inventory management in linked POS. When you add an item into linked POS, its default stock is zero. Once you add items into linked POS, you have to update their stocks. Or once you take a delivery of an item and restock it, the stocks need to be updated. To add item stocks, head on over to the purchase menu. In the drop down that appears, click on this inventory button. This will open up the table with all existing items and their stocks. Since I've just added these items, as you can see, their stock is zero. So to add the stock of these items, choose the item and click on this plus sign in the top left corner. This will open up the form that allows you to update the item stock. Note that some fields can't be edited, such as the item code. That's because this field cannot be changed once set. There are other fields that cannot be changed here, such as the item's name. To change these, you need to go to the items section and edit them there. Let's start off with the first editable field, the unit price. In this field, enter the price you paid when you bought this item for your store. In the next field, enter the tax you paid per item. The next field will automatically show the net price after adding the price and tax. In the next field, enter the total quantity you purchased. Linked POS will automatically calculate the total cost of these items. This is shown in the subtotal. Linked POS also automatically calculates the total tax incurred. And this is shown in the VAT total section. And finally, you can see the overall gross total cost incurred. This is shown in the item total section. In the next field, choose the supplier. The default supplier in Link POS is the walk-in supplier. To add a new supplier, click on these three dots and this opens up the suppliers window. You can add a new supplier by clicking on the green plus sign in the top left corner. Once you're done adding information, click complete and this will open up the payment window. This window allows you to choose the method of payment and the relevant details such as the amount paid and the balance remaining. To complete the transaction, hit OK, and this will update the stocks in your inventory. Let's suppose that you received multiple deliveries of the same item from different suppliers. To view how many suppliers you've taken deliveries from, simply double click on the item. This will open up the window that shows you the different deliveries you've taken in the order you took them. We hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below.